Welcome back to Jersey Matters. There are calls in the state to ban flavored e-cigarettes. There are calls to ban vaping and e-cigarettes altogether. Assemblywoman Valerie Veneri Huddle of the 37th Legislative District is back to talk about that now. Boy, you put yourself right in the middle of every controversial issue. Well, you know, again, I don't think it's controversial when you're trying to help uh, people save their lives or save lives. Vaping has become not only an issue here in New Jersey, but nationwide. I mean, everyone is talking about, you know, the, the consequences of vaping. Um, and I, I don't want to thank Governor Murphy because what he did is he created a, t uh, a task force on electronic cigarettes only three weeks ago, and the recommendations just came out. And it, it does show that vaping has, consequence has consequences to, serious consequences to health. Um, you know, I can remember years ago, Larry, electronic cigarettes was the way to prevent people or to stop people from smoking. And fast forward, um, we just had a recent death in August here in New Jersey due to vaping. And there are several uh, people that uh, are suffering from lung diseases now due to vaping. So the facts are slowly coming in. That's alarming in Can itself. Can I stop with the Because sure, yes, the vaping industry would push back at you a little bit, saying that uh, if you get it from a, a known distributor and a, a trusted site, you're not going to have these problems. This, this was all black market and had to do with mixing oils that should never be mixed. Okay. And so they, they're, they're saying it's like attacking the liquor industry because of problems during prohibition okay. with, with non-distilled right. stuff. I'm not saying to ban all electronic cigarettes, certainly the flavored cigarettes, but I will look at the recommendations that came out, and we will look at them carefully through legislation to codify some of this into law. For example, online distribution of e-cigarettes goes right into the hands of our youth. It needs to be regulated the same way we're looking at cigarettes. It may not have nicotine, and you're right with the black market with the mixing of the THC and other chemicals, but you're also inhaling vapors in your lungs, and it's causing lung disease. Years ago, what people didn't know. What you do with know. cigarettes, which are legal, right? I mean, cigarettes are legal, so. Uh, and I'm saying we don't have to ban electronic cigarettes, but certainly the flavored cigarettes is worth looking at because of our youth. And I'm saying that there should be education and awareness because they're going from one addiction to another addiction. And so are you in favor of banning flavored cigarettes? Absolutely. I have a bill out that I introduced it actually a few years ago to ban flavored cigarettes. But now with the task force's recommendations, we can look at it um, with statistics and facts. Facts from the CDC, when you have one, or we had one death so far, and we have other illnesses that are being attributed to e-cigarettes. And, and the marketing of these e-cigarettes, it has to ha we have to have a registry, and it has to be regulated just like tobacco. But not banning vaping that's, or e-cigarettes. That's up for discussion, because I will tell you this, that that may be some of the recommendations. But, you know, who am I to ban something without doing my due diligence and without having hearings? But that is one of the recommendations. But I will tell you... Absolutely, flavored flavored e-cigarettes should be banned because that's what's attracting our youth. We only have a, a few seconds sure. left. There is an election coming up, an election that a lot of people don't seem to care about, and there's, there's always low voter turnout. But this is extremely important. Could you just make a sales pitch to people well, about getting out and voting in this election? Well, I think we need to, to change that culture from being passive and not voting when elections people sometimes think don't matter. Every election is important and every election matters. You can argue that freeholders and council people and assembly people have more of a direct effect on people's lives than a presidential election. Well, I, so. I think in partnership with all levels of government, I think it's important to exercise your right to vote and elections matter. Well, good, good luck in the election thank and you. thank you so much for coming in. Thank Assemblywoman you. Valerie Veneri Huddle of Bergen County. Jersey Matters continues right after this. Coming up on Jersey Matters, it is Mental Health Awareness Month, and we'll introduce you to an organization that is helping the most vulnerable among us. That's next.